aka the Greener Two. It's been a long time dream of ours to sail the world. So in early 2020, we made the Greener Two, the Greener Three, and we purchased our very own sailing yacht. She's a beautiful Joe Adams. She's 40 foot in length and she's very aptly named SV Haven. Neither of us were expert sailors when we took on this lifestyle, but we had our dream and we had some sort of idea of how to sail. And with just that, we've grown and we've come to create this beautiful life on the sea. We're hanging out with these guys. These guys. And even these guys in the cooler months. So don't forget to join our fam and subscribe to our channel to help keep us floating. We're here at Coochie Mudlow Island. We're at the coffee shop which is about 100 metres back from the beach. And just around the corner here is a gallery which we're going to go check out. On this particular day, running along the side of the coffee shop was a few pop-up market stalls. Um, but if you keep going around the side of the coffee shop, there's a little gallery and there's also some stairs that lead you up to the second story of the gallery. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Heaps of amazing artworks, um, these cool little woven baskets. There's this light that's been made out of a manual hand drill. Um, there's even candles that were made by the man who originally started the Nimbin Candle Factory and he's retired on the island, which was pretty cool. Lots to see, lots to look at. Very creative place. I think most of the artists are actually living on the island themselves. Pretty cool. Back at the cafe, we've gotten ourselves a delicious coochie mocha. Some, some coffee? Some mocha? They only eat snacks. Mm, it looks good. We finished our coffees, then we made our way down to the beach. It's got a little transparent hole so you can see below you. That's cool, eh? Yeah. The Viking. I guess depending on what <coughs> you see below you. <laughs> Lily has a fetish for kayaks. Mm. Yeah, I do. Weirdo. Nothing like a bit of hull cleaner, eh? Just clean it up, make it look brand new. The black hole. Gotta watch out for the stingray. Yeah, this is the uh, master bedroom. It's the, the V berth, and then the the um, the whatever everything else is. <laughs> <laughs> These are the hand, the new handrails we put on. It's upgraded. Someone's already taken some of the stainless fittings. That cleat's not too bad. Like this one's pretty shiny. Those rust stains, they'll wash off with a scotch bright and a bit of, you know, a bit of something. I'm surprised the propeller's still there. Normally something like that, someone's just taken that off. It's something cool to hang off you, hang off your house. In the garden, the propeller. Little mug. It's not... Ah, it's meant to say 40 is not old if you're a tree. I'm reading it's not old 40 if you're a tree. <laughs> and another 100 metres down the beach, we found another wreck that's washed up. Look how small this is. Must be some sort of rope clutch thing. It's where you fuel her up. She takes out gas. Yeah, the shitter looks like the toilet. Not much happening down there. 
It has a mold. Yeah, the toilet's right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just hanging a big shit and someone's head's right feet. next to you? Okay. This is where you get all your uh, face paint. I've actually went off. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. Got a footpath that runs up through the back. And the stairs that go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> Look at all the soldier grabs go. Go, go, go! We've stumbled across this clump of oysters here, and on the back is this really long, elongated oyster. And at first we couldn't work out what it was, if it was like a stem, but upon opening it, we can see it's an oyster. Beach to golf course. Just gonna duck and weave through the shrubs. Lily's got a driver out, she's uh, playing the four holes. In an invisible golf course clubs. Stretching up. I believe that's a sand bunker. That's where you do not want your balls. There's hole four. <laughs> doing the chicken dance or something. Hello. Where where'd you learn that? Uh, There's Nolsey down there in his high vis. Nolsey and the boys hitting some balls. And then straight in the hole, just one hit. Yeah, that's how you do it. Should we go to the bar? Yeah, let's go to the pub. But first, the gallery. Yeah, we're gonna go to the gallery. Bloody gallery. On our way to the gallery, we came across this place. It's completely purple and has train carriages everywhere. Got a little smile. Yeah, yeah. That is so cute. It's got its own little train carriage. Is that like Postman Pat or something? I think it is Postman Pat. Where's his cat? Pretty. How he ate it. What? <laughs> Haven't you heard the story? No. Postman Pat. There's an ibis bar. Yeah, the ibis is hanging out. And that wooden man has lost his head. They're like timber, timber bodies. That's cool. Ever seen a purple cow? There you go, there's your purple cow. There's no moving. <laughs> we made it to the second gallery and there's heaps more local artwork here as well. Some beautiful patterns and beautiful landscape paintings. Really beautiful work. Look at that. And now we can head to the bar. As if this isn't the cutest little beach bar you've ever seen. Hello. It's really cool. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the music. <laughs> After a beverage and some chippies, we made our way to the beach for sunset. A killer 10 out of 10 sunset at that. We're going to play a bit of a tune from Ben Sound and take in these views. Hope you like them as much as we do.
thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our other episodes. We'll see you soon.